Okay, so uh, let's move on to some basic button functions. I think I'm gonna work on the start game and exit function today. So yeah, but basically I did some stuff to the scene that I said I will do off camera to make it look cooler. Uh, yeah, let me just... Basically we're gonna be working on this and this button. And uh, next week, actually not next week, in the next part I might actually add button sounds because I don't think he has them currently. But yeah, I just downloaded this Skydome asset and kind of made this background. That's good for a tutorial. Anyways, first thing we want to do is actually what I usually do for all of my scenes is have an uh, empty game object uh, that they all share. I'm just gonna rename it to underscore uh, I usually name it main so like I know it's my main empty game object so, because sometimes I have multiple ones and I just center it because I like keeping it at zero zero okay so here what we're gonna do is go add component new script and the script we're gonna name uh, main menu buttons actually the main menu button buttons doesn't really matter I'll just uh, plural create an add okay now open it in model develop just wait for model develop to launch since I haven't used unity at all today so it's not opened already okay let's drag it up a bit here don't know why it's kind of lagging now. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these two functions here. But what I'm gonna do is copy this over, and I like actually keeping it like this. Copy this over, we'll uh, paste it, and just name rename the update part to start game. And copy again and paste it and rename this to exit game. Okay, so in the start game menu, uh, we want to do application dot load level dot and now uh, usually you would want to go with no, not dot uh, open, bra open brackets. And here you usually want to do what your first level is going to be called. Now I don't have a first level so just I'm just going to use my previous tutorial which is called teleportation. So uh, you, can e uh, you can also do it in a variable if you want. But I'm just going to keep it like this since I always wanted to load that one. So uh, put it in to a string and uh, type in the name of the scene. So I'm going to go with teleportation and close the string and for the exit game function go to application dot I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's exit I could be wrong though let's just see if it's good yeah uh, Wait, line 15. Oh, it's not loaded level, it's load level. Uh, load level, where is it? Here it is. So yeah, make sure you don't make that mistake. Okay, exit isn't. I can't remember, like on the top of my head, what it is. Yeah, it's quit, I'm pretty sure, actually. I know it's one of those, like, exit, close, or quit. Anyways, uh, if you start the game... Oh yeah, we first have to assign the button, so go into your canvas. Select the button you want to assign. Scroll down here, where is it? Yeah, here you'll see an on-click uh, thingy. Press the plus sign, and drag your main ge game object we just made into here. Then go to this that says no function, go into your script name that you just made, and yeah, just find it. For me, it's for example, start game. 
so that's what I'm gonna select for the start game button and now if we press it okay it says that the teleportation link wasn't that I'm gonna add that in a bit I just wanna test the exit also then so again drag the main and go to transform no uh, main menu buttons and exit game okay so uh, that's all selected now let's add the teleportation in here so I'm just gonna save this scene this is by the way how you add uh, more scenes to your stuff go to build settings oh, I actually need to add both of those scenes okay so go back to GUI and I can actually clear this and also add to this one now you drag your G, uh, main menu scene to the main uh, to the first uh, thingy uh, to be the first in the build with number zero because it makes sure it always loads first so uh, let's actually just copy this over so I don't need to search for it and let's name it GUI tutorial by the way this is how you finally com uh, compile your game we aren't done yet I just want to test the uh, yeah the exit game thingy so let's go into this uh, next we can go with this one whoops alt f 4 I gotta put it windows windowed okay so here we have the scene and if we go start game it will load this level that we made yeah I already sh I actually made a tutorial on this now I actually have to alt f4 from this too and just to show you that the exit game also works here we can go exit and yeah it closes the game so anyways guys this would be uh, it for the start and exit game tutorial next time I'll either work or work on the credits or the button sounds I mean I could probably work on both so it's but, uh, button sounds is just one line of code I'm pretty sure but yeah until next time see y'all and keep making games I guess bye